If you want to find it, I mean, it's not there yet. But if you go to that, it's not perfectly. Dot edu slash my, my uh, email. Uh, that's my web page, and from there, I'll eventually, hopefully tonight, be able to put up a web page where I'll do everything from have course announcements. I'll put up a link to uh, the exam archive for 104 exams, like that other professors have given in the past, which I promise you I will look at when I write your exam. I'll put up uh, any worksheets I give out. And in general, I'll, I'll try to place like a weekly rating, roughly. So like right now, your goal by like, maybe even tomorrow is try to get through most of chapter one, because I think we're going to be done with chapter one tomorrow. But so then what I do on Thursday is still not clear to me. That's why. Um, well, okay, because Thursday I could start chapter two, which is fun. But stuff in chapter two is often easier done with stuff in chapter three first. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to merge the two subjects, or if I'm going to at all, or if I'm just going to follow the book. And by I'm trying to figure out, it also means I have to convince the other instructor to sit down with me and think about it, which yeah, I'm sure you know that's not easy. But okay, cool. Um, I think we have time. We have a minute. Fantastic. Probably figure out where to start. Oh, by the way, this is the most organized I've ever had my lecture notes, or actually, this is, I think the first time I've written lecture notes since I've taught. So, you guys should be uh, happy about that. I usually, yeah, because like all the other classes, you can, I don't know, all the other classes I can teach off the top of my head. But this class, there's so many like damn calculations that are just nasty sometimes that I prefer to write them down. two things that I'm about to use a lot. But the two big words we defined yesterday were the field and an ordered set. So I mean, I'll remind you vaguely, but a field was, remember, it has all these stupid axioms, but basically it says it's a place where you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide in some reasonable sense. And an ordered set, well, um, an ordered set is just a set where there's there's like a less than kind of relation between the elements. With, and it had two properties. Remember the trichotomy as in any two elements, one's bigger than the other, or they're the same element. And it also has the transitivity, so things make sense. So it acts like a less than. Basically, this is where a less than works like you expect, and this is where you can do arithmetic. All right? And so we're going to start off from there. What, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to define uh, what it means to be an ordered field. Now, um, I'm going to warn you right now. Ordered field does not mean it's a field that's an ordered set. I mean, that'd be nice, but then everything could be a stupid ordered set. You just put an arbitrary order on it. Or everything would be an ordered field. An ordered field is actually something nicer than either of these, com with these two combined. It's going to be something that's a field that's an ordered set, but the order is nice. And it behaves like what you expect an order to behave. So um, let that be a field. Um, that is also an order set. <coughs> we say F is an order field. Z in F 
if y is less than z, then xy is less than xz if x is positive. Oh no, I should no, I shouldn't do this one. Oh fine, this should be number two. Damn, yeah, I'm already messing stuff up here. I'm gonna do it in the right order. Just because the addition is always nicer first. X plus y is less than x plus z for all x. So this is many x. And then now if f if f is uh, x is positive, or right, I shouldn't really say positive yet because you don't know what that means. And y is greater than zero. Uh, oh yeah, then x y is greater than zero. I don't want to yeah. There's a couple different definitions, and I was thinking of another, but that's fine. So basically this says, if you have one thing less than another, and if you add some, the same thing to both sides, it doesn't change which one's bigger than which. Does that make sense? And that makes, this, this is sort of a, a meaningful thing, right? Because if, if you think of like any reasonable ordered thing that you guys know about, you don't want to be adding something to both sides and suddenly the inequality switches. Yeah? Because we already know since it's a field, these two are different elements anyway. So they can't be equal. And then this one also makes sense. The idea is just like if you have two, I mean, yeah, the idea is just, it's a, it, we want something that behaves like Q. The idea is we, we think, well, Q has, is a field and is an ordered set under this nice order. There should, and like, so what's the general definition that behaves like Q and it's this? Does that make sense? So um, a couple other, oh gosh. Yeah. Can you give an example that doesn't satisfy this? Yeah, I will, in a second. Um, in fact, one, two of your homework problems are about this. Uh, one of the homework problems asks you, here's an order on C, prove it's not an ordered field. And another one uh, asks you, prove that C cannot be an ordered field under any circumstance, no matter what order you put on. But yeah, if you want, I'll give you an example. Uh, if you guys, I don't know, I don't know, a lot of you are Berkeley students, but if you're ever in a Berkeley uh, club and need to do this to a classroom, put it on the boards that people are probably not going to lecture on. Just advice. I'm just going to erase this now. I feel bad. But I already have three board limits. So uh, then we, uh, so then there's two sets we care about. So there's the set of all x in your field, such that x is greater than zero. So not surprisingly, this is called the positive numbers. And if, and again, similarly, if you have all x in your field, such that x is less than zero, these are the negative numbers. Okay. So yeah, we'll do a couple. I mean. There's a couple easy examples. Um, uh, I think, well, what's the easiest example of an ordered field? Kind of already hinted at it. Q. I mean, Q, and, it, and I'm not even going to go through the proof of this. Uh, Q is an order, I should probably put A. I'm trying to keep the number in sync the same. Uh, it's an ordered field. Um, let me think. Okay. I'm trying to come up with a good counterexample that isn't on your homework already. I might just use the one from your homework. That sucks because then I'll tell you how to do that homework problem. Uh, I mean, basically, let me put it to you this way. Okay. How about I have a perfect example? Instead of doing this counterexample, why don't we look at worksheet problem number one? That's a good example. And then I, this is a little tougher than what I wanted to do right now as an example, but let's talk about that one. So how about we take about, I don't know, let's say five to seven minutes to talk to your neighbors, look at worksheet problem number one, and see if you guys can make sense of why this cannot be an ordered field. So this is zero, one, like the one we spoke about yesterday, where you add, the only thing that's different is one plus one is zero, otherwise everything else is multiplying and adding like you expect. Okay, uh, are there more copies of the worksheet lying around? Yeah, yeah they're back there. Can you pass it forward, please? We'll order. Anybody not get one besides, uh, looks like that happened a little? Yeah, great. Make sure everyone gets one. It's very hard to lecture with this. 